Way ahead of you, boss. Hello there. Let's see. Hail and hearty hello, huh? Tragic loss a hundred years ago. He must be a bard, huh? Yeah, he wants to. <laughs> it's an epic. An epic poem. Alright. Uh, Alright. Fine. Sing on. I suppose we're not going to get any voice acting for this, huh? I wonder what it'd be like if there was voice acting. Yo! Poe in the house! About to bust! About to bust the tale of the nights of days hence! Word! Yo! I've a tale, a tale to tell of night so bold Like dungeon hell and slumber broke upon the shore Of nightmares reef went dawn no more A story true of courage lack and footing lost on virtue's track And trailing far but near to fear A vengeance screamed through night to ear The swordsmen came by two and four To take their fight to evil's core With confidence in might and right Went bravely forward spreading light But light alone can't clear the path When suffers all a hellish wrath From deep below whence fires came Still none above can speak the name together fought together fell so good had won those stories tell the cursed tale of treachery when evil stole the victory heroes bold betray behind from friend made foe with gold in mind to take and plunder which is one twas evil new though all undone in glory slept the hero knight but knife to throw did snuff the lights beyond the rise a simple deed twas on a dead as killed by greed strong enough to break a vow alone with gold he struggled now to leave his dungeon deed and hide alone he fell alone he died widows weep and orphans cry and bards off sing as made inside for want of heroes lost below that haunt to sleep with ghosts the glow on guard to guard eternal stand though neither see nor sense the land before their eyes beyond their age they wait with unbelieving rage when when for all turns on for one the injured soul takes solace none in death's release so stand they will till honor's need someone does fill together enter together fall tis as the foul agreed by all and all must stand and wait in time for one that ran to face the crime i have not been but i've been told of nights of days gone past so bold to warrant heartfelt prayers from thee that rogues Return might set them free. Ah. Word up, freaking poet Po in the motherfucking house. Ah, wouldn't that be nice? A rousing tale. Here, take this ten gold. Yeah, congratulations. Very nicely done. Ah. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's continue on. I gotta say, though, if that really was the dungeon, or the ruins with all the wealth and stuff that we'd heard about, it's kinda disappointing. What? There must be some kobolds down there or something, huh? I'm really hoping that we find more than just what we had down there in the ruins, because, I mean, come on, that, that wasn't riches. That was barely anything. Oh, this is the bridge right here? That's barely anything, you kidding me? Oh, zombies. Great. Brains! Brains! Ah. I'm not afraid of you guys. I'd splat you into pieces! Yeah! <laughs> Good thing you don't need to have, like, a fire weapon or something. I think I mentioned that before, didn't I? Yeah. I keep thinking it might be that way because of the way that, like, Thief and Dungeons and Dra Not Dungeons and Dragons. Um, Nox. Yeah, the way Thief and Nox do it. Benton, huh? Hey there, buddy. What you got to say? You got another rap song for us? Hi, friend. Uh huh. Oh, Ilmater. Or Ilmater? <laughs> Ilmater. It's like tomato, but without the t. The crying god. Now, this might sound like an evil thing, but Ilmater is like a god of suffering in a good way. So think like Jesus on the cross. He has this big old boner for suffering for other people and stuff. In a good way, though. So, whatever. Uh, a boring and pointless god. Uh, sure, yeah, a few of us offer daily prayers to the one who endures all. We just do it off camera because it's freaking boring to watch. Uh-oh. Uh-huh. Yes? Yep, the God of Suffering, as I said.
Uh, yeah, see, he's a masochist. So, he likes to suffer. He thinks it's awesome. That's creepy. But he doesn't like magic. Oh, uh, <laughs> better get behind me, Nira. Yeah, some of us are sorcerers. Oh, should I say that? Ooh, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll say it. I'll just try it. Huh, I've never heard of Ilmutter, Il, Ilmutter, whatever. I've never heard of these followers being against magic like this before. He'll continue his sermon anyway. Cast off our worldly possessions. Great. Yeah, let's go out and fight evil in the world with just friggin' loincloth. That'd be great. Brilliant. You're a genius. Hmm. Where did everything run now? <laughs> okay, I assume he's being sarcastic. <laughs> what a tool. <laughs> Psych! See ya, sucker! <laughs> yeah, whatever. Why would we want to do that? Come on. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Screw that. We're not going to get rid of our stuff. That'd just be stupid. We should have mentioned, though, that I guess we're not really on an epic quest yet. I mean, obviously, we, the players, know that we are on an epic quest, but maybe we, as in Randall, and his company do not actually know that they're on an epic quest yet. I mean, well, look at all, all the good we've done with our weapons and our armor and stuff. We should have stood up for ourselves a bit, you know? I know we just kind of brushed them off, but there wasn't really an option. We were just like, screw out of here, or, well, just kind of sarcastically agreeing and stuff. You know, I, I wish there was an option of like, hey, you know, our weapons of armor and armor have done us a hell of a lot of good, a lot more good than being around naked would have done. I mean, yeah, suffering for someone's sins may be all well and good, but isn't it even better to stop people's suffering by getting rid of some of the evils that trouble them? Seems like it to Tom me. I'm Maybe I'm just crazy, but that's just my opinion. Sorry about that. I had to move my microphone. I'm sure that, that even though there was just a slight clicking sound as I set my microphone down, I'm sure that to you, the viewer, it's going to be like... Oh, <laughs> Freaking atomic explosion of noise and sound, and it really sucks. Whatever. What, we can't walk onto here? Oh, is that, oh, that must be below us. Okay. Well, let's walk along here first, just in case there's another way down. A lot of cacti. It's funny that there's... You've got kind of grasslands here, and yet there's cacti in it. I don't know. I guess cacti could grow in grasslands as long as it's kind of arid, right? Or warm. I don't know exactly what cacti I need. I'm guessing that if it ever freezes though, they, they die, so... Huh. Either it just never never freezes at this kind of region, where we live here, or we're far enough away from places where it does that it they're able to grow. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, great. It went nowhere. So we have, to, we have to still walk all the way around? We do. God damn it. Come on. Game, sh come on. Give us a little break here. Give us a more easy way down. Nope. We gotta walk all the way around to get down there. Great. Thank you. That's brilliant. And really, is there any, any real need to cross the bridge? I mean, look, there's no water there anymore. It's all dried up. So, the bridge is kind of pointless at this at this stage, isn't it? Oh well, let's switch to our normal formation with the arrow and stuff. I prefer it that way. That way I'm I'm in the front, ready to kick ass. It's pretty awesome. Unless the arrow points the wrong way. What what oh it's just a bit of dust. Alright. Yeah, so apparently it is pretty dry. You can't even get through here, really? <laughs> okay. So the bridge is more to get over a bunch of rocks than it is really to get over any water. Ow! I will show you Tricks? Hey, I see a scroll there. I think. I think I see a scroll there. What this? Oh, just chill touch. Meh. You don't care too much about chill touch. Chill touch is so... It's so first level. Oh well, she can take it. 
Though, I mean, we never really use it. I should sell some of those at some point. Because we'll never use Chill Touch. I mean, to get to use Chill Touch, you have to get up close and actually, you know, touch the enemy. And she has to make a touch attack, so... She doesn't have the highest dexterity or the highest thaco. So, touch attacks are pretty much pointless. Unless you've got a really high, really low, excuse me, thaco. Whatever. When I hear thaco, I still think of the one character from Terrell Hunts or Thunts comic goblins. I'm not sure if you ever read it. It's pretty cool, though. There's a character there called Thacko because of the, le the second edition to hit at AC0 counter. Yeah. Alright, what else do we have here? Come on, give me something. Something to talk about besides comics and stuff. Oh, but speaking of comics, though, if, if, you, haven't, if you haven't yet and you're curious about Dungeons & Dragons, you should, uh, you should read... Um, Giants, I guess his name, he calls himself Giant, but there's a comic called Order of the Stick, which is freaking awesome. I've been following it for like, who must, I must have been following it for like 10 years or something. Unfortunately, the guy recently had his hand cut, so he hasn't been able to make a new comic in a while because uh, of some damage to his thumb. He sliced it on some glass or something, but you don't care about that. Uh, anyway... Nothing here, really? There's gotta be something more on the bridge, at least. Come on. All that talk about how the Firewine Bridge was this, that, and the other thing, and there's nothing even friggin' here? What about Nira's little, uh, little quest? There's gotta be much in here somewhere for that, right? Uh, Cloak? We still haven't gone to the Cloak, apparently, huh? Hmm. And Nira, what, what does she want? A doy. Lives somewhere east of the Firewine Bridge. Well, you can't go any further east than here. Okay, so apparently it's got to be in this map somewhere because there, there's nothing east of the furthest east of the world map. So, got to be around here somewhere. God, we're so slow. I wish there was some means of speeding up the game temporarily. Like a little speed counter so guys would like zip across the screen. That'd be kind of sweet. Most games don't do that anymore. Some older games used to do that. They'd have like speed counters so you could speed things up for a bit. That was kind of nice. I wish games the games where there was a lot of grinding and a lot of walking around would kind of have that option more. Instead, they don't have it at all anymore, which kind of sucks. I guess new role-playing games have aren't the kind of click and wait type as this. Instead, they're like, like friggin' Fallout 3 or something, where you're, there's no time to wait or anything because you're, you're walking in first person every step of the way. You're not just waiting for your characters to get to where you tell them to go, which is good and bad. <clears throat> Excuse me, whenever as long as I take in a breath, and then I kind of make a gasping sound. It's kind of weird <laughs> and annoying. Might be a doze over here, because this is east of the bridge. At least it's the east side. On the east side. Pretty nice stone, like, nice architecture here, though. Like it. I like it. Hmm. Anything? No? Well, I guess I'll always take more little bits of experience points even if they're only coming bits of seven I'll actually no never mind seven experience is completely pointless isn't it because if ten experience points only gives me like one experience points per, per experience point per person then you know friggin killing ten kobolds will give me seven experience per, per person maybe 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 not even that so that sucks screw that so where is this a doy jerk well, at least there's a way down here. She so must be down there somewhere. Yes. Oh, unless this is him. Quick save. Nope, that's not him. We are experienced. Most skilled swordsman. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Oh uh, man, I, I I'm inclined to ask this, but I don't want to be too big of a jerk. But screw it. <laughs> oh, 
Uh, you or a party? Eh. Now you done it. I will show you. That's probably the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Look, Rasad can beat you pretty much. Well, he 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 was doing a good job at first there anyway. I don't know. Maybe he is tougher than us, but I'm I'm inclined to think we can we can handle people like that. Okay, so maybe that was kind of stupid that we just fought him. Okay, you know what? I'll be right back. I'm gonna see what else happen. What else can happen? Cause that was kind of silly. Although I do get a lot of experience for it, but that's probably like an evil option or something. Let me see what else I can do. Maybe I can get him to come along with us. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right. This time, this time, let's say it's an honor to meet him. Oh man, his ego though. Ah, it's painful. <laughs> Women throwing their underpants. Oh. Uh, I mean, we're talking about medieval times. Most undergarments would be worn for like a month at a time and probably very, very soiled. That's disgusting. Mm. <laughs> you naughty clap dragon. <laughs> uh. What to do with this guy? I mean, frick, I'm inclined to challenge him. Maybe I should challenge him, but not... Yeah, I think I'll take that challenge option then. I'll be back. Okay, let's be earnest, but then challenge him. Okay, well... Hold on. I'm gonna stand back. I'm gonna see if I can do it alone. No, no, no. You guys all stand back. Come on. Get back! I, I want just just Randall. Don't get yourself killed. Come on. Come on. I want to be a challenge. There we go. Well, he got a hit off of our party, so it's just fair. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Can we can we manage it on our own? I'm curious. I don't know. Maybe we're not as good as I thought. Nope, apparently not, so... I guess he does know what he's talking about, huh? Okay, well... We just challenged him to a fight. I, I I feel bad, though, that... I really wish we didn't have to kill him. I mean, it just feels like the wrong thing to do to kill him, but... He doesn't ever back down until he's dead. That kind of sucks. I feel like I'm... I don't know, because I don't want to just... Say, hey, might meet you later, because I don't know if we will meet later or not. So, and I don't know if it's really worth it. I don't know. God damn it. Well, at least we have some stuff to identify. Oh, just plain longsword plus one. Nah. Whatever. It's not that impressive. What? What do you mean oh, scattered? We're all right here. Wait. Oh, I see what you mean. All right. Fair enough. You cannot rest while your party is scattered. There we go. We all good? Okay. Uh huh. Let's see what his gauntlets were. Hmm. Oh. Wait, wait. Can uh? Can Randall use those? Would that help? Hmm. Well, they do more damage, but the Thacko plus one, that means that it's harder to hit things, right? Uh... Ability of experience, but not the wisdom. Okay. Whatever that means. Yeah, because the two hit minus one, that... It's so freaking confusing. Okay, because plus one to Thacko means a minus one to hit. That's so goddamn confusing. <laughs> I know that they changed the way that worked in third edition, but goddamn it, how, what kind of idiot ever came up with it to be this way in the first place? I don't know, I don't think that the plus two damage is really worth it even. <sighs> Whatever, fine, fine. At least it's not cursed, so we can always take it off whenever we want. This. But goddamn it, that's so stupid. <laughs> It's completely unintuitive. And we can't go east from here. So we're still looking for what's his name. 
Todoi or whatever. I always forget the names. I suck with names. I've established this and I apologize. I apologize very profusely. Here, no, that's still not it. Ah. Uh, oh, it's a lady. I wonder if this is that guy in disguise. No, probably not. Yeah, what's wrong? It's in my head? Or in your head? It's a jar. <laughs> Tell us about the jar. Hmm. Found the jar. Oh. What name? Yeah, how can we help? I hope she talks about herself in third person. You know she's crazy. Run fast, huh? Oh, I see. So she must know the name of like, uh, of. Well, okay. In Dungeons and Dragons, there's this th these things called true names, which are like the the real. It's hard to explain. In Dungeons and Dragons, there's this kind of deep, deep magic um, that's based on names. So, like, if you, if you know the true name of something, you can control it. And things like deep, like um, powerful demons and devils, they all have true names. And if you call the true name, true name, they come to you. They just appear or something like that, or they have to do what you want. I don't know, something like that. But eh, yeah, give us the jar. I'm not too worried. Whoa! I don't give us to us now. Uh, I don't, I'm trying to do the right thing here, but I always hate. <laughs> I always hate just to not do anything because it always feels like the right thing to do is to do something, right? I mean, maybe that's completely wrong. Spec Ops line taught me that, but uh, see, I don't want to go that far. We're taking from you whether you like it or not. But I want to. God damn it! I want to. Ah, damn it! I don't want to do nothing. I want to know what's in the jar. I want to know what's in the jar. Maybe. Ah, I want to know what's in the frickin' jar! I'll be back, I gotta find out what's in the jar! Okay, so, car or cark. Alright, there she's, she's calling for cock. <laughs> cock! Cock! <laughs> yeah, see? Exactly. Protection shielded. Uh... Ogre Magi, huh? Yeah, we'll see. I shall commit to the task. I'm gonna get Rasad out of there though, because I don't trust him not screwing this up. My turn to save the day. I mean, what, what seems like the right thing to do? Just leave her there with with whatever. It doesn't the right thing to do seem to be to you know try to take the jar from her. I mean, she's, she's dead, I guess. So that's maybe not the best thing. But I mean, is it really best for her to just keep this ogre magi? I'd rather just kill the the frigger. You know. Try not to curse, and it sounds freaking stupid. <laughs> oh well. Um, magic missile! I think that th he's protected from that, though. That was stupid. Yeah, I should have known that he'd save versus that. Idiot. Let's use protect from fear, just in case. What? No, protect from fear. No! Quickly, quickly! So I'm sure he's gonna use that BS spell. Let's see, do it. Okay. I didn't get to see if we damaged him at all or not. <laughs> I'm gonna try a few more times to see if we can beat this guy.